Ah, Smash Brothers, Nintendo's fighting game franchise, I guess we could call it. The franchise that represents the best from Nintendo when it comes to, hey, it's their take on fighting games, it's brilliant, it's their own mascots, everybody loves it. It's also very hype inducing in a way it builds up, especially with trailers, every single week or every single time we get one and every day would happen with the Smash Dojo I believe I was around during that time and the Smee and the Miiverse update we got every day building up and giving us more and showing us more of the game but also represents the worst when it comes to the Nintendo fanbase when people don't know to shut up about where Smash and getting disappointed when Nintendo doesn't announce Smash Brothers in the Nintendo Direct that was not about Smash Brothers. But anyway, this is the Zen the series regarding Super Smash Brothers and predictions for Super Smash Brothers Switch. Yes, this is the intro that I'll be using on every single one of the videos. There will be seven in total, each representing um, seven different topics. Mo some of them topics in, in franchises and collective or just universes so um, yeah let's get on to whatever topic it is because this is always gonna be the same intro also since it's the same intro getting out of the way I'm expecting Super Smash Brothers switch be it 5 or 4 port to just be um, taking whatever Smash Brothers taking Smash Brothers 4 and expanding it be it the engine with added new characters new game modes and yeah that's about it so um, Let's get on to it. And now we move on to another amalgamation of franchises. This time I included Metroid, Star Fox, F-Zero, Kirby and Earthbound all in the same video mostly because most of these don't have much to talk about again like all the other videos and all the other franchises and all basically all of every character from Smash Brothers 4 I'm expecting all characters from all these franchises to return I believe Ridley will still be a boss character I think he should stay as a character nothing against Ridley fans or nothing against Ridley himself I think he will be a fun character to play I just think Ridley fits better as a boss character. Not only that, people talk about representation when it comes to this. For Ridley to be in to represent the franchise Metroid better, we have to remember, size does matter. For as much as people say like, oh, but look at uh, the size of Kirby, look at the size of um, Olimar. I think that although those things are important to look at, it's also important to look at size within franchises. For example, Bowser varies between uh, varies in size in every single game. It's true. His his height, uh, his size is not the same in every single Mario game. However, there's one thing that's consistent throughout all of the Mario games, apart from maybe the original games on the S on the NES. But then again, they couldn't do much on that. Is that Bowser is always taller and bigger than Mario, like in Smash Brothers. The same thing can be said for all the Pokemon. Pikachu is smaller than Charizard in the in the Pokemon game, so he's smaller in Smash Brothers. Olimar is bigger than the Pikmin, and so it is in both the Pikmin series and in Smash Brothers. Kirby is smaller than King DDD and about the same size as Meta Knight, both in the Kirby series and the Smash Brothers series. So Samus, already one of the biggest characters in the game, one of the tallest characters in the game, would have to be smaller than Ridley. So Ridley would end up being one of the biggest characters in the game if not the biggest and it ha it would have to be a big difference not a small difference like a head taller even then it's already kind of ludicrous big for a game like smash but you would but really would need to be to properly represent Ridley he would have to be much bigger now for newcomers from the Metroid franchise I'm not expecting anything it could be any of the pro of the hunters from the Prime Hunter series or uh, that guy, I forget the name, Sarlax, I think. I'll put him on screen and in his name, but I forget who he is. From the uh, from the ending of Prime 3, and from Prime itself, uh, he could also be given the fact that Prime 4 is a thing. I also think, now moving on. Okay, so very quick cut here. Uh, whatever for that, whatever reason, when this went to render, for the rendering process and went through everything, for this, for this, for about a good minute or two, the audio went to shite. So I'm have to redoing the the whole video, but not the whole video, but just redoing this exact part. So this was the Star Fox part, and um, yeah, okay. So Star Fox part, 
uh, what I said about the Star Fox characters would be that A, Wolf will be returning, which I think will please a lot of people, and B, that um, Crystal might be a new character if they are to do a new if they are to do a new Star Fox character, then Crystal would be it. I also made the point of uh, saying that the main reason I've always heard about uh, Crystal not being in the game would be because of she's for furries. All I have to say to that, if that's a legitimate excuse, is that A, so is Fox, Falco, and Wolf, and so are all the, basically, two of the champions from uh, the, the Breath of the Wild. And I'll say this, Mifa, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that she's their waifu. So, uh, if you have a problem with Crystal and furries, you should have a problem with with Mifa and Rivali and Fox and whatever. I'm not going to get into this. And uh, Kirby I don't, and Earthbound, I don't think, are going to get any newcomers. And this is what uh, I talked in a Zelda franchise, in the Zelda video, that I wanted a character to take in Ganondorf's role as the Captain Falcon stronger slower clone and i think it should be black shadow from f-zero he fits fits perfectly in this you know it's a character that actually fits this role and you know it could be i think it would be if he, he would fit perfectly he would be a phenomenal uh, addition have more uh, from i have more representation for f-zero especially if a new f-zero game is in the works um and yeah, that's that's practically it. So this is this was the video for, you know, all these franchises, <laughs> five franchises. The only video I think that has, uh, apart from the third party video, this is the video with the most amount of franchises in it. Um, but yeah, once again, tell me what you think of which characters you want from Metroid, Star Fox, F Zero, Kirby, and Earthbound. Which characters you think are going to be cut from these franchises, if any? Uh, tell me in the comments how I'm wrong about Ridley and how Ridley should absolutely be a playable character in this game. Uh, if you want to see more from this um, from this series, playlist will be on the screen right now. Same thing with the playlist for Breath of for my Breath of the Wild DLC um, playthrough and my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 uh, playthrough. And yeah, that's about it. I've been the Legend of the S, and I'll see you guys next time.